Next, we're going to jump over to, to Lawrence Norman to tell us a little bit more about Iran. With, uh, Iran wants to resume some, some nuclear talks. T tell us about it. Yeah, Iran sent a letter, it actually sent it on February the 14th, so it was a kind of Valentine's note, I guess, um, to the European Union's Catherine Ashton, who's in charge of foreign policy. Um, the letter took four months to write. Uh, it was one page long, um, but it did seem to say we are uh, willing and uh, happy to have talks over the nuclear program. I think the two things that were, uh, that were a standout on it was, first of all, it didn't set any preconditions for talks, which is something that the Europeans were, and the Americans were, were uh, very focused on. Um, and in addition, it actually explicitly mentioned nuclear issues, i.e. that they were willing to discuss their nuclear program. So those were, those were two positive signs, um, but we are yet uh, to hear whether the Europeans and the Americans uh, and their partners believe that Iran has sent an, a strong enough signal that it's willing to engage seriously. So the West has taken this with a grain of salt, and can you tell us what kind of preconditions were expected or may come along with this or were sought in the past? Well, uh, what, what we saw in the past were, were pretty stringent preconditions from Iran, um, and, and the Europeans didn't accept any of them. Uh, there were talks in Istanbul last year, in last January, which was the last time that, that everyone sat around the table, and the Iranians turned up having not set preconditions and basically said, well, in order to talk with you, we don't want to discuss the nuclear issue. Um, we, want all the, we want all the sanctions that you've put in place on us lifted. Um, and there were one or two other smaller points. So that clearly, um, that clearly led to the breakdown of talks. The Europeans and the Americans have made it pretty clear that they're not going to accept preconditions. And at least in the letter, there were none. What I guess they're trying to find out now from Tehran is whether um, there's going to be a repeat of last year in the sense that they'll, the Iranians will sit down and immediately demand preconditions right at the beginning of the talk. If that why, happens, then, uh, then I guess this process will fall apart again. Lawrence, why, why the change of heart from Iran? Tell us about it. Well, uh, Is there a real change it, of heart? It, well, that, that, I think that's the question, isn't it? Um, it? I think that's what we're yet to see. Why the response now when there hasn't been a response in the last four months? Well, there are several things going on. First of all, the Americans have significantly tightened the sanctions they had in place, very stringent sanctions on Iran's central bank and financial system. The Europeans have taken some big steps, um, particularly in January, in terms of sanctions on Iran. They, uh, they placed an oil embargo on Iran's, uh, on Iran's exports of crude oil. Uh, they've also sanctioned the central bank. They've taken a number of other steps. So there is clearly that pressure. And at the same time, the Iranians... Um, you know, they, they are, I'm sure, very, very aware of the talk of a military response to their nuclear program, whether that would involve Israel or, or Iran. So they are under some considerable pressure right now, and they may have felt that this was a good time to look as if they were serious, or perhaps to be really serious about engaging in talks. But, but, but that's, that's probably why they've done this now. You say it's been a year since there have been talks. Do we have any knowledge about what's happened internally um, with their technology or their ability to enrich uranium? Is there um, concrete knowledge or um, good insight into what the, if they've been able to accomplish much? Are they in getting the past closer? Year? Can they stall for for time? Well, I, I, I'm I obviously not not based in in Iran, and <laughs> and, uh, and I, I, I I won't pretend to be a, a nuclear expert. What, what I can tell you is what people in Brussels think, mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure this is true in Washington as well. They think that Iran is on the road to seeking and getting nuclear weapons, and I haven't come across anyone in the last few months who thinks that Iran is no closer now than it was a year ago. It does seem to be moving down along that road. The Iranians, of course, deny that. Um, but in terms of an accurate assessment, I think uh, Ehud Barrett, the, the Israeli defense minister, said uh, that he thought they were between six and nine months from being able to build a bomb. The Israelis obviously have their own interests here. Great, um, great. No, Thank no you, Lawrence, so much.